Hey guys, Ron here. So I was able to print a Naomi Wu, but uh, I gotta take this thing apart. CR10S Pro. The carriage, the carrier for the, uh, hang on. The carrier for the hot end and the fans and, and the, and the uh, auto leveler wouldn't stay was in the track but was wobbly and wouldn't tighten so the only thing i can think of is an eccentric on the bottom roller which is the one that tightens it and it was probably not no longer in that large hole where it belongs so here we are five o'clock in the morning fixing again it's a nice machine i mean it really prints beautifully got some nice prints done on it all right so uh more pain in the ass stuff but we'll get her fixed all right, guys, out for now. So I've got my assistant with me. Hey, Vector. He's my buddy. All right, so uh, I was able... I, I, I'm working with one hand, so it's hard for me because uh, an injury. I'm recuperating from surgery in the shoulder. Um, but what it seems to be is there's an eccentric. It's a short dowel with an offset edge, ridge to it. And that ridge was not in the hole. Now it's extremely tight and correct. So I got to reassemble, and you can't get to it with everything on there when it's out of the hole like that. So I got to tighten that down. But right now there's no play. It's really decent, and uh, you see it's a pain. Got to use forceps because uh, second hand. But nothing stops you, you know, when you want to do something. So let's see if I can get an angle of this for you. So she's nice and tight. We'll be back. It's so much easier to work on than the old ones. On the uh, self-loving probe, there's two very small set screws there. So you tighten them enough to hold that, and there's access through the cover to adjust it to the right height exactly. Uh, no play. Used to play like eighth inch and couldn't tighten up. Sorry about the uh, one-handed holding one. So I'm left-handed and my left hand, I can't use my shoulder and my arm too much. Surgery, old accident. Finally getting it done. So, uh, yeah, we'll put this together and she'll be fine. And see these clips up here? I don't know if you can see them. I printed those. They're pretty good. Just regular cable clips. I decided to uh, level this now. It's a lot easier than later. I'll tighten it up now. So, that's done. Uh, this is my assistant here doesn't stop talking. Hey Vector, what time is it? Hey Vector. Hey Vector, what time is it, dummy? Oh well, there's your answer. So I'm moving it up so I can uh, finish this up, tighten it up, and be done. We'll do a test print in a few minutes, I'll let you see it. Alright guys, fun for now, bye. Alright guys, she's all back together, we're gonna do an auto level. Check the other level, adjust it if necessary, and uh, make some prints. Five, uh, six fifty-three in the morning, about an hour and ten-minute job. One hand. And the carriage is now nice and tight and snug, not over tight, just right. No play. I had a lot of play, even when I made some these good prints. I had a lot of play. Now I'll check it manually with a piece of paper on top of that and then uh, adjust it from there. So that was a Naomi I did with a uh, carriage not perfect so it should be way better. Alright guys, now for now I'll get I'll get a shot of the printing once we get my, Oh by the way, a lot of people are having trouble been having trouble with uh, you know get 
getting a, a file and bringing it over to the CR10s and everyone says it has to be in the root directory, root directory it's not the root directory, it's gotta be keep the, uh, the, the name on the file uh, less than 8 digits I mean I had this problem for years and uh, keeping, the, keeping the name 5-6 digits instead of uh, these uh, long especially um, stuff from Thingiverse and all that they put these huge titles on there just save it and then go in and rename it something small and you'll every file will show without a problem okay guys out so it's doing its leveling the four point Still a quick test print. Uh, a batlet stand for a play on batlet. How nerdy is that? You can hear the retraction on the uh, extruder. Alright guys, on for now. This should be good. Alright, ciao. So it's all done. Um, calibrating the uh, self-loading is a bit of a process. You have to set the uh, the height of the probe to ten to uh, ten millimeters. You have to set the nozzle. You have to set the light on top with a little screw. And you have to set that so it backs off properly. I'll do a whole nother video on that, but uh, he's up and running nice now. I really like this machine. It's nice and quiet. Uh, it's fit like all of them. It's a little fiddly, but that's part of being this kind of business. Alright guys. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the giant printer, the old giant printer I got working real good. 500 by 500 bit of a monster but it works really well all right guys out for now ciao see ya